tiara of Pauline Bonaparte. Christie's Auction House has put up for auction a unique precious tiara of the early 19th century, Ears of Wheat. Previously, it belonged to one of the sisters of Emperor Napoleon, Pauline Bonaparte, 1780 to 1825. In 1803, Pauline Bonaparte married the Italian prince Camillo Borghese and took her husband's surname. She is known as the only close person of Napoleon who regularly visited him in exile on the Elbe. The tiara dates back to 1811. It was made by Francois Regnault Nito, the court jeweler of Napoleon Bonaparte. Nito, who succeeded his father, was Napoleon's official jeweler until the collapse of the empire in 1815. He then sold the business to the firm's foreman, Jean-Baptiste Faussin. Today, the company still exists under the familiar name Chaumet. The tiara weighing 219 grams is made in the form of wheat ears, for which it received the appropriate name. Wheat ears were, in principle, one of the most striking decorative themes in jewelry during the First French Empire. Recently excavated archaeological sites, Pompeii and Herculaneum, contributed to this in many ways at that time. Wheat ears are also an attribute of Ceres, the Roman goddess of agriculture, harvest, fertility, and prosperity. Ear-shaped jewels were most often diamond, gold, and silver brooches. They could be worn separately on a dress or used in a hairstyle and also placed in a bundle, which resembled sheaves of wheat. The tiara belonged to the large Borghese family after the death of Pauline Bonaparte. The Borghese family kept it as a valuable legacy for a long time until it was put up for sale at auction. The tiara has great historical value, as it is associated with famous historical figures and cultural trends of its time. It is not only an ornament, but also a source of inspiration for exploring the world of jewelry art of the early 19th century. The famous tiara of Maria Theresa Charlotte with emeralds and diamonds is a unique piece of jewelry. More than 40 emeralds and more than a thousand diamonds make this French masterpiece of the 19th century truly stunning, and the story behind it is no less exciting than the decoration itself. Marie Therese was the eldest daughter of Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette. She was 10 years old during the storming of the Bastille in 1789 and 14 when her parents were beheaded. After that, she lived in exile in Vienna. While in exile, she married her cousin Louis Antoine. The royal family returned to France after Napoleon's defeat at Waterloo in 1815. In 1819, Louis Antoine ordered a tiara for Marie Therese. The French royal family went into exile again during the Second French Revolution of 1830. This exile turned out to be the last for Marie Therese, who died of pneumonia in 1851. However, she did not take the tiara with her. As part of the crown jewels, she left it when she left France. Later, the tiara became a favorite decoration of Napoleon III's wife, Empress Eugénie, who adored the contrast of emeralds with her red hair. The Third French Republic passed constitutional laws in 1875, and shortly thereafter the National Assembly decided to sell the crown jewels. The tiara was sold at auction in 1887, probably to a British buyer, because almost a century later it reappeared in the Victoria and Albert Museum. From 1982 to 2002, the owner of the tiara lent it to the museum for display. When the owner decided to sell the jewelry, the Louvre took the opportunity and returned the tiara to France. Now the tiara of Maria Theresa Charlotte is in the collection of the Louvre Museum in Paris and represents one of the most magnificent pieces of jewelry in the world. Its beauty and history make it an object of admiration and an important artifact in world jewelry history. Tiara of Empress Eugénie with the Pearl of Napoleon This is perhaps the most famous of all the tiaras that belong to the French monarchy. It is located in the Louvre Museum and once belonged to Empress Eugénie. The tiara is decorated with a large natural pearl of regular shape. Bonaparte bought it for his second wife, which is why it is called the Regent's Pearl, or Napoleon's Pearl. On the eve of the wedding, Napoleon III presented his bride Eugénie de Montijo, the daughter of a Spanish nobleman, with an exquisite tiara. The tiara was part of a large pearl necklace consisting of pearl bracelets, a necklace of six strands of pearls, and a corsage pendant with the possibility of installing the Napoleon Pearl. Eugenia often wore this corsage, two famous beauties of France, Marie-Louise, the wife of Napoleon Bonaparte, and the Duchess of Angoulême, Maria Theresa, the daughter of the executed Marie Antoinette, and Louis XVI. 
never owned any precious stones and pearls that were in the treasury. Court jewelers Gabriel Lemonnier and Francois Kramer made new jewelry for Eugenie from them. Maria Luisa, the daughter of the Holy Roman Emperor Franz II, was the second choice of Napoleon Bonaparte. In honor of the wedding, Napoleon I presented her with a chic outfit consisting of a comb, bracelets, earrings, and necklaces of various sizes. In addition, in the center of the tiara was the very Napoleon pearl that the bride had purchased especially for her. It is said that the extremely attractive tiara cost the emperor 219,547 gold francs. Louis XVIII of Bourbon became emperor after the death of Napoleon I. Some of Maria Louise's jewelry was given to him. Louis XVI ordered new ones, including a tiara for his niece Maria Theresa, Duchess of Angoulême. Again, the main element in the tiara was the regent's pearl. Maria Louisa on the left, Maria Theresa on the right. Twenty years later, in 1848, the parure was redone for Eugenie, the new empress, wife of Napoleon III. The new tiara style returned to the neoclassical style of Louis XVI, despite the fact that stones and pearls have gone through so many alterations and France has undergone significant changes. The tiara's opava, covered with gold and silver, contains a large number of classic-cut diamonds surrounded by a floral pattern. In the center of the vertical line, there are three pearls, which differ from the rest of the tiara pearls in size and shape. The Napoleon pearl is the largest teardrop, shaped one in the center. The rest, matched in shape and size, are arranged symmetrically in the decoration pattern. This tiara contains 1998 diamonds weighing 63.30 carats and 212 pearls weighing over 800 carats. The Napoleon pearl weighs more than 75 carats. Eugenia posed for the artist Winterhalter many times in a tiara. Thus, we can see the image of this attractive woman in a famous piece of jewelry. In 1855, Eugenie visited Britain and visited Windsor Castle. She wore a tiara two nights in a row, but after the failure in the war with Prussia, the French dramatically changed their attitude towards Napoleon III, despite his long reign. In 1870, Napoleon and Eugenia fled to England. The Empress left a tiara and other jewelry belonging to the crown in France. The tiara was sold in 1887, when the government decided to sell some of the jewelry of the fugitive emperors. The decoration has been bought and sold many times. In 1890, Prince Albert I of Turn and Taxis made it a wedding gift again. This time, the Austrian Archduchess Margaret Clementine. In addition, she often wore a tiara. But after many decades, the world saw the decoration for the next time. Again, as a wedding gift. It was presented to Countess Gloria von schoenberg Glauhau in 1980 when she married Prince Johannes. Her husband died in 1992, leaving a large inheritance. In addition to the family jewels, Gloria inherited a large debt and inheritance tax. Thus, most of the property was sold, including Eugenia's tiara. The decoration was transferred to the Louvre after its purchase by the Society of Friends of the Louvre. The tiara stays there. The tiara of Empress Eugenie was created for her in 1853 by the jewelers of the Chaumet House by order of her husband Napoleon III. The tiara is made of gold, encrusted with diamonds, and decorated with large pearls. It became one of the most famous and luxurious jewelry of Empress Eugenie, and was worn by her at many official events and royal balls. The tiara was inherited by her daughter, Princess Julia Bonaparte, and was subsequently sold at auction. Today, the tiara of Empress Eugenie with the Pearl of Napoleon is part of a private collection and leaves admiration for its luxurious design and historical significance.